Welcome to Modern Day Masterpiece. I'm Caleb. I'm joined as always by my co-host Josh. And today we are not going to talk about how we saw Annihilation because we did not see Annihilation. I don't know if you knew this, but a, a few weeks back, you know, they did advanced screenings for Annihilation. Mm -hmm. And the word of mouth was, was very positive, but, but yet there was a review embargo for it just the day before it was released. So I was like, okay, they're going to push for this movie. It's mm -hmm. getting a lot of great word of mouth. And the more research you do, you find out that this is getting an international release on Netflix three weeks after its American release. And you find out that there was a clash in the studio. You find out that studio execs thought that the movie was too smart for people in general. But Alex Garland, director of this, who also did Ex Machina, represent the shirt as well. I'm wearing it today. He did not want to do that. He wanted his own director's cut. He wanted that his cut to be the one that got put out. So they're like, okay, if you do that, we'll, we'll release it internationally on Netflix because we're not going to make our money back. But yet there's so much positive word of mouth that you think they would have pushed. But yet the last couple weeks there's been no push for the movie. And this should have been the biggest release this week with a $55 million budget. Compared to Game Nights, I'm sure Game Night didn't have a $55 million budget. But I'm sure, you know, this is a big sci-fi, horror, visceral thriller. Even if you mismarket it like you do, like it comes at night, Mother, you'll get butts in the seat at least the first weekend. At least do that. But the, instead they decided, no, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to do anything at all. We're going to cut the theaters down is what we're going to do. Which is why, in the four theaters closest to where we live, we live in southern West Virginia, we're a part of the group that they think is too dumb to understand the movie. Which is it's kind of insulting, because you got the theater that... I work at a theater in southern West Virginia. That's what I think. And we didn't get it. Around. It's not our fault. It's completely Paramount's fault. Then the theater closest to us in Charleston, both Charleston theaters, which one of those theaters is a chain on, on our theater, mm -hmm. which is... A park yeah. Place, then the other one is a is a bigger theater. You would assume one of those would have got it. At least Park Place, because it does usually get the smaller indie mm -hmm. movies, which this is in no way, shape, or form a small indie movie. This isn't Not like with a fifty five million this, dollar budget. This isn't like when The Shape of Water or Three Billboards came out. This is supposed to be a big movie. When Ex Machina came out with a fifteen million dollar budget, it got put Our in theater got it. It got yeah. put in essentially all theaters. But the closest theater to us is two hours plus away. And in order to watch it, we'd have to travel two hours, watch a two-hour movie, then travel two hours back. That's six hours of, of the day. That's, that's essentially impossible. So basically, this movie will be lucky to make $15 million. Because I can only think of three theaters in all of West Virginia that is playing this. Huntington. The two Huntington theaters got it. Cinemark and the Barbers. Which are both two hours plus are, away. Which are Marquee and um, uh, Cinemark. And yeah. Morgantown. Morgantown got uh, it. Which is think, a five-hour drive I think a theater away. in Beckley. I even and did, theater Beckley I even did further research because my dad said, hey, I'd like to watch this. I'm going to be traveling on business Sunday. I'm going to be in Kentucky. So I was like, okay, I'll look. Kentucky. I'm sure they'll have it. I, the first two theaters I looked where he'd be it's close like to. It's like Louisville and Lexington, right? No, no. But it, it's probably played around there. But yeah. this is closer to uh, Ashland, I think. Yeah. Uh, which is Huntington. Yeah. Which is right outside of Huntington, Huntington. Which is two and a half hours away. Movie's so, not playing. So, this movie's not playing at all. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Regal Cinemas and Nitro got it one night only. Well, we thought they were getting they one thought, night only. Well, we thought they were we getting thought one that night only. And then they pulled the show. They, they pulled it. like For, for a couple so, days, they're like, okay, it's going to be playing. It's 7 o'clock on a Thursday. It's a special, on a special screening yeah. of one night only at 7 o'clock. They pulled the screen the night before. Well, and I'm sure it wasn't their fault. It it all falls on it all falls it all on, falls on Paramount. And how much you suck. And I feel so, I feel so bad that a month ago I was like, man, Paramount's been taking some chances. They did Mother last year, and they did not. Yeah. They didn't. They, they didn't up, care. I was going to bring that up. I was going to bring that up. Possibly Mother might be one of the reasons why. Oh, it, it it definitely is. But at is. the same time, it's like. It's this, a completely this, different movie. This movie's more profitable than than Mother. I think <sighs> that even even this movie. Immediately when Mother got released on Thursday, you look at Rotten Tomatoes on Friday, the audience reaction was like a 40% yeah. compared to its score. Yeah. was like a 70%. This has like an 88, I think at the time, critic score. And it has like a 74 audience rating. You know, like some people, it's not for everybody, yeah. but I just think a lot of people aren't getting to see If I... I feel more it's a slap in the face that they don't release it in our area because they think we're too stupid they think to understand They think it. that we are dumb Which is, because we live in West Virginia. Yeah. So they're like, we'll release it in the places... We'll where release, maybe, we will release it in the big cities where people might be smart. Even though the capital of West Virginia is not playing it's in not neither playing. of the theaters. So they've screwed themselves. Apparently, they'll be you screwed up on this like really bad. They'll be lucky really to walk bad. away after the weekend with $15 million. We have $15 million. Like there's no chance. Which is, you know, essentially they're like, okay, we'll cut all our losses and... 
and bake on Netflix internationally. Because yeah. they, they, they were they were like, well, we're not definitely gonna, not going to make the money internationally, so we'll just go straight to Netflix. But in America, eh, we'll release it in a handful of theaters, which it's, it's in thousands of theaters, apparently. It's like 2,000 theaters. But compared to, but... it's not in half as many theaters as Game Night. Or Ex Machina was. It's probably, I, you know, Ex Machina was, I, I was surprised when we got Ex Machina, because it was an A24 movie, but we, we tend to get some of those smaller A24 movies for whatever yeah. reason. We may stop, because they do awful at our theater, yeah. so that may... may that, you, that, that, that might tie in. Ex Machina might have did, not did well, so our theater chain might have been like, well, if Paramount's not going to push this, we're not going to put it in our theater. Which, yet again, I'm not blaming this on any of the theaters. It all falls on Paramount. And I, what yet, was annoying was the fact that we had the poster up the poster, in our theater. I, well, because I'm pretty sure the owners, and every, and then the, the owners, and yeah, the assumed, owners thought that they were going like, to film. This, but. Is, this is the big release of this week, and all of a sudden it's became a non-release almost. Yeah. It'll, get, it'll be lucky to make top five box office this week. I don't think it will. It I don't think it will. It, if it's a, if it's a week weekend, uh, you know, because Jumanji's granted, been in the top five for months. Gra- now. Granted, it pretty much was a week weekend because you still have Peter Rabbit. You, you got, still have um, you, you still have Jumanji's there. You have Game well, you Night got Black, there. Black you Panther's going to get Panther's number, still Black there. Panther's going to get number one again. But I won't yeah. be surprised if Game Night takes that number two. Oh, Game Night will yeah. take number two. Game, Game, Game Night will make twenty million two. plus, but uh, but Annihilation will be. I don't like think I said, Annihilation will, will make top five. It'll be lucky to make fifteen million. I'm trying to think what. What mother made its first weekend? I think it made like fourteen million made like 14 or something like that. Something then it, it made it, it made significantly it, less. It ended up making slightly above its budget, which is not breaking even in the slightest because no. you got to take it into marketing. No which is what they're like. If we if we mar- if we spend a lot of money marketing on this, we're not going to get our money back. No. Which is that's a bullshit excuse as a as a as a movie company. You yeah. want to push your movie that is getting widely critically praised yep. like people are comparing this to 2001 a space odyssey and already calling this a masterpiece you need to push that movie and as far as i'm concerned this is the kind of movie you need to see on the big screen and also sort, of like, sort of like gravity and movies along that yeah that but, spectrum but, but more spectacular than that i hear for a 55 million dollar budget i hear it's just visually spectacular in in 17 days we'll have to settle on watching this on a tv screen probably yep. which is terribly sad and completely unfortunate and I, I commented on a screen junkies video and apparently a couple other people were having the same problems yep. as I as I am I was like okay this is this is a worldwide problem yep. apparently or an American problem at least and I know this, this is, seems to be a rural area problem. I know this is a first world problem but if, it, if we're talking about the movie world not everything's uh, to quote the movie ladybird not everything is war it's little problems sometimes yep. this is a movie that we wanted to watch so badly yep. I love Alex Garland and everything he's done he was the writer of 28 days later directed ex machina this is the movie I wanted to see more than any movie. Of, like I wanted to see this more than Black Panther. Like this was, yeah. I, I just heard so many, so many great things about this, and I'll have to settle for maybe Can't illegally you know. finding this on the internet yeah. unless unless they just buckle down and was like, hey, we're gonna release this to Netflix in America too, even though America doesn't have the rights. Netflix doesn't have the rights to this in America, just internationally. So <laughs> the movie's screwed. The movie's not gonna make any money. Nobody's gonna see this movie. But yet everybody that I, everybody's opinion that I respect. Is praising this movie, so yeah. There's nothing else oh to really say. God. It's just really unfortunate. Par- Paramount has they have screwed, has themselves. screwed themselves. So I won't trust them ever again. Hard. And I was praising them so hard over a month ago because there was a little bit of push for this. Then they they dialed back, and I was like, oh no, They're, like no theaters are going to. It's get almost this. and it's almost like that when the director said that you know what, no, this is my movie. This is what I want. I, I, that they were just like, okay. You want it your way. We just won't release it. Exactly. And that's bull. That's so much. Sh- that's bullshit. So exactly. much. Exactly. And like, if if you're, if a studio is not going to get behind the movie, then just don't release it in the, the theaters. Pro- the problem. Put it on Netflix. Put it direct to DVD. Something like that. The problem with all this is test screenings. Test screenings are <sighs> stupid. You get you get maybe you get some film fans, but, but test screenings were positive. No, the test screenings were bad. The test screen. Like, I mean, well, the test screen. They screenings for for, for they, the general. They brought it. They brought in. They brought in regular. Critics they brought in. Fine. They brought in regular movie fans to watch oh, the movie last God. year, and apparently, more than half of them didn't like the movie. So, I, I, I test screen. I heard this. I heard this from a. I heard this from a cinema snob in his regular review channel, where he said that the producer that was saying this is too smart for. American people, you need to change the ending and change the Oh, awesome. God forbid this you was, have to think. This was the producer of Geostorm that was saying this. Yeah, God forbid you have to think, folks. Geostorm has like a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't want to go to the movies to think. So I want to go to the movies to think. Some of us like movies where you gotta think. They put too World much, don't revolve around you. They put too you. much faith on the test screening results whenever test screening results for like Justice League and, and, and uh, Batman v Superman were positive. So it's just, come on guys. 
Trust the critics. Whenever the critics said that this is a masterpiece a month ago, you trust them and you put all your you put all your marketing into that, saying that it's a masterpiece. Maybe maybe fudge the marketing a little bit like it comes at night did. I don't care. I know what movie I'm getting into. I can't roll my eyes hard enough at Paramount right now. So obviously we're upset. Uh, there's nothing else to really talk about. It's just re- I, got, I really have it's, nothing it's to really, say. It's really I'm upsetting. Not, I'm not entirely shocked. Paramount screwed the pooch so bad on this. Maybe we, we just really want to see the movie and we're being bitches about it. No. But I think no. a lot of people feel the same way that we do. A no. lot of people are going to miss this movie and they'll have to settle for watching on a computer screen or on a TV screen and it's really unfortunate. It just it sucks really bad. I was really looking forward to this movie and I'm not saying you know Game Night we had to settle for Game Night because Game Night was fun but Annihilation was the movie that I really wanted to see. Uh, But yeah if if you're having the same problems we are in your location I think if if you're not living... Only Leave a comment. Share the video. I send think, it to Paramount. I think tell them how much I they think suck. the only way you can see this movie is if you live in a big city, city or, or a heroin riddled city like Huntington, West Virginia, for whatever reason. But but not the capital of West Virginia, Charleston, which is crazy. Like why didn't both cities get it? But I assume that's like that in a lot of states. So a lot of people are probably not seeing it. If you didn't get to see it, please let us know about it. Please let us know how upset you are about it. Just destroy Paramount's emails and call them idiots for this. Horrible, horrible mistake they've made. Uh, but if you did see the movie, you know, let us know uh, how, how it was. Let us know if it was good or it bad, because it'll be like three months before we get to see I've it. I've heard an overwhelming amount of things. We have to wait 17 days probably to watch it. Uh, but if, if you have something to say about the movie, please don't don't post any spoilers. Uh, Here's the thing. If it respect. leaks, we might still review it anyway. So, Oh, I plan on reviewing it regardless. Because ah. I'd say that the vast majority of the people that are going to see this movie won't be seeing it for another a month or, or so. Probably. So, yeah, probably. That, that, that's it. Uh, Paramount, you suck. Screw the pooch on this one. You do. But uh, yet again, if you're having the same problem we did, please comment. And also, if you like the video, subscribe, man. Thank you for watching.